Welcome to the General George Patton Museum of Leadership. I'm Chris Kolakowski, the museum director. The museum is undergoing a comprehensive renovation and will be reopened to the public June 14th of this year. This video series explores just what it takes to remake the Patton Museum. Let's have a look. Today we're going to look at some of our exhibits that involve large vehicles. I'm standing in front of an M60A3 tank, which is painted in a camouflage pattern used by the Army in the mid-1980s. It will be the centerpiece of a diorama that shows an Army maneuver scene about 1985 in West Germany. For most recent college graduates and younger, the Cold War is in the history books. But it offers a dynamic example of Army leadership, how Army leaders both put the Army back together after Vietnam and then prepared to fight and defeat the Soviets in case war broke out in Europe. This diorama will combine with other artifacts and an interactive display of Army recruiting during the period to help tell this dynamic Army leadership story. Restoring and preparing vehicles for display is an intricate process. Details such as paint, markings, countless other elements can make or break the presentation. One of the more complex restoration projects we've undertaken includes General Patton's command truck, which is standing here behind me. For over 40 years, it sat in the old Patton Gallery of the Patton Museum of Cavalry and Armor with a historically inaccurate paint job. We have restored the paint job, put historically accurate paint and markings back on it, and the vehicle has come back to life. Some of the elements that we have restored include front bumper markings, hood markings, door markings, the interior of the cab, including a restored steering wheel and a restored gear shift knob, rear bumper markings, including one on the left that is original, has been left exposed, and we've replaced the wood frame that had been removed so it would fit in the Patton Gallery. If General Patton were to come here today and see this truck, he'd feel right at home. Our other signature vehicle is currently undergoing restoration at our museum workshop. Let's go check it out. Real objects and vehicles have a power that images sometimes don't convey. A great example of this is this vehicle behind me, which is Foam 161, which was the fire truck on duty at the Pentagon on the morning of September 11, 2001. It was severely damaged during the attack, caught fire, and at the end of the day, the first flag raised at ground zero was raised on this truck. Fortunately, none of the firemen assigned to the truck were killed during the attack. It will be used in a display about Army leadership on 9-11 and in its aftermath. Foam 161 sat outside for several years, and time and the elements have not been kind to it. We're giving it a cosmetic restoration. In front of me is some of the glass we will be using. Foam 161 will make its final trip to the Patton Museum on September 11, 2013, as part of Fort Knox's Patriot Day commemoration. When that happens, the Patton Museum will be one of only two museums in the world to have a 9-11 fire truck on display. We hope you enjoyed this latest look at what it takes to remake the Patton Museum. Check back with us at the end of each month for another preview video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. For more information about the Patton Museum, please visit our website, generalpatton.org, or our Facebook page, facebook.com slash patton museum.